hey everyone i hope all of you are doing good today i am going to talk about few things related to the internship related to the learning of the law students and the people who are uh, getting enrolled recently and they have just started their practice or some people who have not started their practice but they want to get into litigation but somehow they are not able to learn the work from their seniors or somehow they are not able to work from their mentors and because they are first generation lawyers so there are things which they are not able to face so i am going to talk about the issues which you guys are facing and also i faced when i started my litigation although uh, i am a second generation lawyer my dad is a lawyer but uh, i hardly worked with him for i think couple of months and then i switched to a senior lawyer and i worked under some senior for almost 2 years so i am going to tell you about the things which you can adopt which you can take into consideration and learn few things apart from joining a senior because the messages from linkedin and uh, instagram i have been receiving those are related to particularly that sir we want to learn we want to work but we want to we do not want to work under some senior lawyer how can a first generation lawyer set up his own chamber how can a first generation lawyer start his own practice without working under someone so let me tell you if you want to work if you want to learn if you want to set up your own chamber uh, without uh, working under a senior the best options available to you is which i also adopted uh, in my career so far that is what i used to do is i used to sit in the court room uh, and observe the court proceedings you can sit in any court room if you want to learn the criminal proceedings you can go to the sessions court around 2 and 3 there will be cross examinations going on there you can stand uh, just uh, close to the witness box and observe the cross examinations like how the public prosecutor asking the questions from the witnesses and how the opposite party raising the objections by which you may learn number of things and honestly i am telling you i am taking full charge full responsibility of it that you will get to learn number of things if you just sit in the court room and observe the court proceedings and apart from learning the cross examinations in the court room you can also observe how the lawyer stands in the court room how they uh, argue the matter how they make their submissions in the court room and what happens when judge is not uh, in a mood to give you a relief how a lawyer a senior lawyer handles this situation you can learn so many things just sitting in the court room and if you want to learn civil proceedings you can go to the civil court there are the courts of adjs that is additional district judges there are the court of civil judges you have to just sit in the court room in the morning in the early morning around 10 if you are a delhi based practicing lawyer and after few hours you will get to know number of things like how the applications are moving on how the court deciding the applications and how Uh, the opposite parties are raising the objections to it what are the replies to be filed with the accompanying applications how many affidavits are to be attached when you are moving any application before the court because civil proceedings are generally based on the applications and the uh, submissions uh, unlike the criminal proceedings so you do not need to struggle to work under a senior lawyer yes i always say i always submit to everyone that if you want to work if you want to learn something nice so you have to work under some senior lawyer for at least a year and side by side you have to observe the court proceedings you have to read number of law books uh, and uh, preferably the bare acts because my personal recommendation to every law student to every lawyer is to first command over the bare acts you have to read the bare act from start to end means from the first page to the last page otherwise you will not be able to get each and every fact of the bare act if you actually want to learn law you need to be good in your bare acts your language your command how you deliver things in the court room your knowledge your skills everything depends upon the bare acts and apart from the bare acts if you want to expose more you can read the commentaries you can read the citations there are a number of sites like indian kanoon scc uh, and uh, live law where you will get so many updates regarding the legal things and uh, you can join any of the network by way you can update yourself in the legal field so these are my things which i used to do and what i used to do apart from these things i used to read judgments a lot still i read i i think three or four judgments a day before i go to sleep and uh, that is the main reason i think uh, i am doing somewhere good in law i'm not saying that i am the best in the law but yes i have been uh, doing things by reading judgments 
but I do preferably for example if I come up with a case I do not have any idea about it so I generally go to a lawyer to some senior lawyer or my friends and deal with the case facts and also I try to take consultation from them because no matter how senior you become no matter how knowledgeable you become this is a field where you need a kind of uh, introspection not only alone you can do it you have to uh, make other persons other people other seniors participate in it and when you discuss matters with other peoples you will get to know number of things which you might be unaware of so that is the thing which i used to do i still deal my cases with number of seniors if i do not have any idea about the case and you do not become a junior person you do not become you do not demean yourself when you ask something from seniors something from your friends there are so many things which we cannot know in this profession because of the fact that this is a profession where you have to learn where you have to read till the time you die so that is the main reason you have to take consultation you have to take advice from your seniors from your colleagues and uh, that is how you take care of your cases if you have to set up your own chamber without working under some senior start going to the court rooms observe the court proceedings and read number of uh, law books including the bare acts so that you have the good command over the law and apart from that you can consult your matters whenever you take up a new case you have you can consult your matter with the senior lawyers with the colleagues and there you can start your own practice and set up your own chamber do not afraid uh, in going to the courts that if i appear in the court judge will reprimand me if you are prepared enough then no judge can reprimand you if you are not prepared then obviously because of your silly mistake because of the lack of preparations judge may reprimand you so it's better for you if you are starting your own practice you want to you want to grow you want to rise shine you have to at least focus on the file focus on the facts you have come across with